a really uh, an outrageous robbery in the Riverdale section of the Bronx. Police say the city's latest stomach churning gun crime happened when these two men robbed a mother in the lobby of a building. Appallingly, uh, they then point that weapon at the three year old son's head. With that in mind, Commissioner Sewell announced the rollout of neighborhood safety teams. They are not in plain clothes. The uniform clearly states on the back NYPD police. They are there for the safety of the community and to get the violent offenders off the streets. About 25 five member teams will hit the streets Monday with more to come in the near future. The teams have been months in the making and are a pivotal part of Mayor Adams plan to curb crime. He and the NYPD have faced questions amidst rising crime about what's taking so long to get the officers out into the community. We actually had to take a look at the mistakes of the past and what we needed to change. The officers are being trained in the Constitution, in community interaction, car stops, use of force. As for transit crime, Sewell defended the efforts of her officers, including some working in tandem with outreach workers to address the homelessness and mental health issues on the subway system. Well, I disagree that it's not getting better. Our arrests are up as well. Sewell says officers are also ramping up the writing of summonses for turnstile jumping, which district attorneys increasingly have stopped prosecuting unless it's connected to a more serious crime. We have to go after fair evasion as a civil, a civil offense at this time, but we certainly want to be focused on it because we do believe that when someone jumps the turnstile, they're probably going to commit a crime or some other activity that is undesirable. Those DAs, including the one here in Manhattan and the one in Brooklyn, will tell you they feel going after turnstile jumping is akin to essentially going after someone for being poor. But this administration and this police department believe that it is part of the solution to solving subway crime in particular. Live at One Police Plaza, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.